I am standing here in the beautiful town of Rosha Montana in the Transylvanian mountains of Romania. And it's in this town where villagers for nearly 20 years fought against this mine that you see up there, which would have become Europe's biggest gold mine. They went to the streets, they appealed to Romanian courts, and in a remarkable show of people power, they actually managed to stop the mine, which would have destroyed their homes and the surrounding environment. But now, the project's majority owner, Canadian mining company Gabriel Resources, is suing Romania in an international tribunal. And Gabriel wants five billion US dollars in compensation because it couldn't proceed with the mine. Foarte rău a fost. Noi nu știam că vine compania și pentru ce vine. Noi sigur n-am știut. Și a fost un mare chin pentru noi la acolo, la Rusia. Ei aveau să golească Roșia Montană total, că asta i-a fost ăsta, și să ofere pe tavă locul arid, să zic, așa, să fără nicio persoană acolo, ca să înceapă ei dezastru. If the mine had been approved, how would it have looked like here? The village would have been transformed into four open pits, giant open pits, 300 meters deep. They plan to use the largest quantity of cyanide in Europe in order to extract the gold. Cyanide is a very poisonous chemical and the lake, the Sinai Lake, would have been seven kilometers long and the dam would have been almost 200 meters high. And all these houses here? These From houses Shamantana. would have been destroyed. In order to do that, they needed to remove more than uh, 2,000 people here and their homes. What you see behind me is the Kurnik mountain that hosts more than seven kilometers of Roman galleries. They wanted to destroy the Roman gold mine. All this heritage is very well preserved and should be enlisted as a UNESCO site. I was born in Rosha Montana. This was the house of my grandparents. My father came one day at home and he was saying like there was a big company that wanted to do a mining project and we all have to move. Well, I was impressed by how aggressive their selling campaign was. Uh, you hear stories from the village that actually creep you out with emotional blackmailing and um, the company managed to infiltrate such trust issues between family members. So it becomes like a trauma in time. Then it was the point when, where we said that we have to gather and we have to make an organization to show there is resistance against this project. The resistance spread all around the country. During 2013, we had demonstrations up to 60,000 people. It is said to be the revolution of our generation. Uh, this is how Romanians feel uh, about Rosha Montana even now, because for so many years they not only refused to leave, but they stand strong in front of the mining company. I never saw so much people in the street, like never. It was huge. When I saw people coming, visiting, protesting all around the globe, like yeah, Berlin and I don't know, in France and in Germany and in uh, Spain and Toronto. all all around the world they were protesting, not only here in Romania, Romania was biggest. And not only that people protested, but also the courts decided that the project was illegal. So the uh, politicians needed to stop it. So the people actually managed to stop the mine. But guess what? Gabriel Resources, the majority owner of the mine, is now using a legal backdoor for corporations called ISDS. It's enshrined in many trade and investment agreements around the world, and it gives corporations enormous rights to sue governments for a lot of money in compensation. And this is exactly what Gabriel is doing now. It is suing Romania for the unimaginable sum of five billion US dollars. That is 2% of the whole Romanian economy. No, cum să ne dea pe noi în judecată când statul român, cum statul român să mai plătească acum 
pagub, ce pagube să plătească? Că ar trebui ei să ne plătească, că au făcut comuna, nu ne-au dat, ziceau că ne dau compensații pentru că nu ne-au dat nimic, nici nu ne-au mai întrebat nimeni nimic. Și acum ar trebui să se bujuge cel corect treaba. Și să nu le dea nici o mână, e de ce să câștige ei, nu? We can already see the effects of the arbitration. Uh, the Romanian state wanted to enlist Roșia Montana as a protected World Heritage Site. All of a sudden, last year, they decided to withdraw the dossier from UNESCO on the last minute. Another example is the fact that the Romanian state is working on a new mining law. This would make the Roșia Montana project possible again. There's always that fear that we will have to leave, we will be forced to leave because of a new law and a new company or the same company under another name. So it's a bit stressful there in the back of your mind. După mine nu e corect, fiindcă ai dezbinat o comunitate, ar trebui să le fie rușine. După ce ai dezbinat și ți-ai bătut joc de oameni, What is your message to Gabriel Resources and the arbitration court? For the company, well, I think they pretty much know our message. We will not sell, we don't plan to move. My grandparents also lived here and this is pretty much our plan for Rosha Montana.